in, Tommy. Yeah, good. Guess what? We're going to Hadda. You're going to Hadda? You got an entry, eh? Yeah. No way. Have you been training? Uh, not much. Just a little bit. Yeah, rightio. I think I know someone that might be able to help you out there. Let me make a call. Steve. Hey Adam, how you going? Where are you? Sounds like you're training. <laughs> How's Riley going with it all? Did you guys get an entry for Hatter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got accommodation. Yeah, he's been training really hard, so hopefully it'll all come together. Look, I think you gotta come down to the farm. I think it's time we introduce Riley to Tom. We might even piece together a little team and road trip together. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. It'd be good fun to come down and um, do a couple of laps on your track. All right, see you in a couple of days. Should be good. Like father, like son. Steve was a motocross racer. Now the cycle is starting over with his son, Riley. This is Tom. Catch him if you can. so much you can teach kids. The real lessons are learnt in the playground. One on one, head to head, toe to toe. I think a friendship will begin today. A friendship which could one day become a rivalry. This is it lads, you're as ready as you're gonna be. The only thing that is probably going to be new to you guys at Hadar. It's basically high speed motocross. You know, there's going to be riders wanting to pass you when you've got nothing left on the bike and you're kind of just going to have to focus only on what you're doing. It's, it's a tough thing, you'll get spooked, but you guys are ready for it. What have you done, Steve? Where are we at? Okay, so we've done the jetty, main jet, 14 feet on the front, uh, the top speed. If you think it's a good idea, say it out loud. If it sounds like a good idea, then just do it. The journey to a race can be half the fun.
Us X racers, we're vicariously living in the past by taking the kids racing. We're simply creating an opportunity. How far they take it is entirely up to them. So I've seen you walking around here plenty this afternoon. Are we racing tomorrow? So how are the nerves feeling right now, boys, ahead of tomorrow? Pretty nervous. This is a sport where knowledge and experience is passed down from those before them. A few years back, these boys were also new to the game. Now Sam and Gus are at the top of the junior ranks. Two mates fighting for the top step of the podium. On the big ultra, yeah, yeah. that's what Riley's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same length as last year. Are you ready to pick up behind the back of this buggy as the guys go through? Four wheel rider classes over. You probably still pulled a good time. How'd you feel out there, Tom? Yeah, awesome. Got okay. the nerves out the way? Yeah, I'm feeling good now. Ready to race? Some of the best in Australia are here. Daniel Sanders, Josh Green and Daniel Milner. Defending the title one year, chasing it the next. Milner's seeking redemption after mechanical issues last year. It seems words of encouragement from Milner aren't enough to settle Tom's nerves at the start of the biggest event he's ever experienced. You're in this now, Tom. Time to battle. chaos of the start unscathed is a real challenge. The sooner you can find a rhythm, the better. First refuel and Tom seems overwhelmed by the pace and intensity of the competition. The only thing that can really prepare you for racing is racing. Back in the pits, we've noticed our neighbours have been dealing with a problem. This guy's son melted the piston during the big wheel siding lap. So it's a race to rebuild the engine before he needs to be on the start line. Oh. 
All's well with Team Protégé. Riley's calm and ready to race. So we're gonna do what we can to help our neighbors. We've got the parts, we've got the mechanic. Let's help keep their dream alive. How's the old girl looking, Steve? Tom's first Hadar in the bag. Part one of the mission complete and Dad stoked. What do you have to say about that, Ryan? You proud? Yeah, nah, very proud. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Speak to one of the West Aussies that's uh, over here for their first hatter. This is Riley Moritz, or as we know, the Mini Blitz. His old man used to ride. Right, mate, what are you expecting? What position are we here, Riley? 81st. Yeah, about 70 spot fitter than the old man would have been, mate. Good luck, Riley. Thanks. Now the Mini Blitz. <laughs> quite like the intensity and chaos of the first lap. Bikes and riders are going everywhere. And if you push too hard in the dust, you're going to get bitten. First refuel, all is well. Riley's finding his groove. At any other time, Riley would be lining up to get a selfie with Milner. But right now, he's like, just hold my coke, buddy. I've got this. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Off road racing, then, huh? Definitely an eye opener. Are you coming back? For sure. Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a big rev. And all has ended well at the neighbours' camp, too. Got her home. Four hours flat out. 
only stopping to refuel. And then it starts raining. Every second of a cross-country race is a chance for a bike to fail or a rider to crash out or give up. The opportunity to win a motorcycle race does not come easy. Riders, racers, role models or heroes. Win or lose, we're all in it together. <laughs>